two-factor authorization is crucial if you want to keep your WordPress website secure from nasty bots and from people trying to hack into your site. So really quickly, I'd like to walk you through how to set it up for free using WordFence. WordFence is a great resource for anyone running a WordPress website. It doesn't just handle two-factor authorization as you're about to see, but it scans for malware that may have landed inside your database, inside your core files, and it offers a good firewall that will prevent some nasty traffic from ever seeing your website. And you know, all in all, it's just a great add-on to use alongside WordPress, even if it's just their free plan. All right, so let's get two-factor authorization set up. The first thing that I would love for you to do is to jump into your WordPress website. Look for WordFence in the plugin directory, install it and activate it. And now WordFence is going to automatically prompt you to get a license for their plugin. It's up to you to really try to decide how much budget you like to allocate to protecting your site. Two-factor authorization is included in their free plan. And so that's the one that I'm going to pick for the purpose of this video. All right, and once you've gotten your license straightened out, jump into login security inside WordFence and automatically WordFence is going to send you to the settings tab. And it's going to have you walk through a little wizard showing you around what features it offers. As you can see, it doesn't just do two-factor authorization. It also offers the possibility of adding recapture verification to all of your login forms, as well as whitelisting IP addresses so that they can bypass two-factor authorization. But the important first step that I, will, that I would love for you to do is to jump into the tab that says two-factor authorization. Now, you're going to be presented with a QR code that you're going to have to scan with an authentication app like Google Authenticator. That's the one that I always use for um, all of my two-factor authorization sign-ins. Um, my sensitive information is blurred out for the purpose of this video, but if you made it this far on your end, you will be presented with the proper QR code that you can just scan with your phone. Now, authentication apps provide a two-factor authorization code that only lasts for about 15 seconds or so. And every time you wanna log in to your WordPress website as an admin on your site, you'll have to get the code from you know, Google Authenticator or you know, whichever authentication app you're using and type it into your sign-in screen. And this means that only people that have access to your phone or to your authentication app, which should only, only really be you, can access your site as an administrator. Do note that on this screen, WordFence is also going to provide you with a backup security code. This code is a string of numbers that you wanna download and keep somewhere safe. Now, what is this backup code actually used for? Well, let's just imagine that unfortunately you've lost your phone or someone stole your phone, or you know, if for whatever reason you can't access your authentication app, the only way to bypass two-factor authorization and be able to access your site is with this backup code. So you wanna make sure you print it out and you know you store it somewhere safe. Uh, at the very least, make sure that you download it and you store it in your local hard drive. Okay, so you've downloaded Google Authenticator and you've scanned the QR code and you're now seeing on your phone how your code gets updated every 15 seconds or so. And you've also downloaded your backup code. Now what? Well, we need to finish tweaking our uh, security settings. So let's jump back into the settings tab. And I want you to please make sure you're forcing administrators to use two-factor authorization. You probably wanna disable it for subscriber accounts. Like if someone purchases a Thrive Apprentice product from you, you know, you probably don't wanna be forcing them to use uh, two-factor authorization just to, be, just to be able to sign into your site to you know, take your Thrive Apprentice course or to read your exclusive content. You can if you want to, but it does, it's, you know, it's not something that really bothers me as much because subscriber accounts on WordPress can't really modify any of the core files of your site. Administrator accounts can, so you wanna make sure that you've enabled two-factor authorization for them. You can also enable a grace period for your administrators to get two-factor authorization sorted out. This means that upon forcing admins to use two-factor authorization, they are still going to be able to log into their accounts for the next you know, 10, seven, five days without using two-factor authorization. And this is particularly useful if you're the main developer on someone else's website, but you wanna give you know, your client some time to get two-factor authorization sorted out on their end. And then it's really up to you to consider whether you wanna create a reCAPTCHA Google app and enable it on your sign-in forms. 
it can be useful, but to be honest, if you've got two-factor authorization set up that should already handle most of your, you know, log and security concerns. ReCAPTCHA, I personally mostly use for lead generation forms, you know, just to make sure that I'm not sending spammy emails to my email marketing service. And that's it. That's how you can set up two-factor authorization on your WordPress website for free using WordFence. Again, this is something that I strongly encourage you to do to prevent your business from being attacked. For more things WordPress, be sure to subscribe to our channel. And yeah, I appreciate your time. Thank you so much. See you soon. Bye.